21, we're gonna open up the home drawing again. Under the view tab, select the snap name view. So, let's see if I know how to close the one out. Open up the snap name view. And then, um, draw a line between the midpoints of line one and line two. And then what is the, the delta x of the line you drew? All right, so we're going to, I'm gonna hit L for line, the midpoint. Again, make sure that you get the midpoint snap, which is a green triangle. So the midpoint of this line to the midpoint of this line. I'm gonna press enter. Then I'm gonna select this line and the delta x. So we're gonna put 26.11. 26.11, 26.11, next, there we go, we're on a roll. All right, for number 22, we're gonna open up the home drawing, and then once we're in the home drawing, we're gonna go to the view that is named small line. So I'm just gonna open up this again, home, we're gonna to go to the view, named view that is small line, and there's nothing here. So we're going to um, draw a closed polyline starting at point 10, 10, moving clockwise using absolute coordinates to create a polygon by typing in all of the given points in the order below. So we're gonna we're gonna create a polyline starting at point 10, 10. And then our next point is going to be at, at 15, 17. So I'm going to go to polyline. I'm going to type in the coordinates 10, comma 10. Our next point, I believe, is 15, 17. So I'm going to type in 15, comma 17. Enter. Our next point is um, 25, 18. So 25. 18 enter and then our last point that we need is 2813 so 2813 and then I can just hit C for close so there's our our polyline polygon and then it says what is the length of the closed polyline so if I click it and then the length is going to be down here so 42.73, 42.70, wait, I didn't type it in, it helps if I type stuff in, 42.73, hit next, there we go, all right, number 23, we're going to open up the home drawing, and then we're going to open up the dimensions named view. So I have the home drawing already open here. I'm gonna go to the dimensions named view. And then it says, I'm gonna look at an angular dimension. Um, place an angular dimension on the object using line one and two. And then what is the value shown? So I'm gonna go to my dimension here. My dimension, I'm gonna click here, go to angular. I'm just gonna select one of these lines, this one, and you can see it says 30 degrees over there. So, I'm gonna go back here, and here I'm just gonna type in 30. And go to next, there we go. For number 24, we're gonna open up the home drawing and then we're gonna change the print setup to ANSI Expand B 11 by 17 paper size. So we're gonna open up the home drawing and I already have it open here, but let me just, I'm gonna close out of it and open it back up. So I make sure that I get a fresh copper. Open it up. We're going to go to the print settings, right? So prints, I'm going to change the, the print, the paper, the paper size to ANSI B expand 11 by 17. 
and then it wants us to find out what is the the units it says what is the units value within a plot scale section the units value in the plot scale section so there's a plot scale section the units value is 385.5 so I'm gonna go 385 so notice how I, I need two numbers here according to this so I'm just gonna put a zero on the end so that that kind of configuration matches hit next we got that one correct all right so let's go on to the next one my computer's running slow it's thinking about it all right here we go question 25 of 30. um let's just oh we don't have to open up anything which of the following features allows you to create a rounded curve with a specific radius between two existing lines so a rounded curve would be a fillet because a chamfer would be like a an angled corner um, not extend not join so a fillet would be the answer to that one let's go on to the next one using the move command you decide to move an object using the coordinates at 12 comma negative 4 in this scenario the value 12 represents that's going to be the X direction the horizontal distance from the object starting point the vertical distance um, the vertical distance okay so the at means it's relative so it's relative to um, its last position so that one's going to be the horizontal distance from the object's starting point that's going to be this one here yes hey when that box pops up all right, question 27 of 30, which feature, which feature do the icons in the image below represent? Shape tools, geometric constraints, cursor restrictions, object snap modes. So these shapes, if I go up to my drawing, you can see, I'm gonna cancel that. If I go to my object snaps here, you can kind of see those shapes here. Some of them look familiar. So those are gonna be the shapes are where is my those are going to be the object snap modes and then go to next all right number 28 it says which of the following properties cannot be changed for every object on a layer using the by layer option so we have color line type thickness transparency um, if i go to my drawing here and if i click on layer properties You can see that color, you can do it by layer. Line type, by layer. Line weight, by layer. Um, transparency, by layer. Thickness, you have to just give it a number, right? So it's gonna, the answer to that is gonna be thickness. So we're gonna choose this one and hit next. And there we go. All right, we're getting close. So question 29, it says, what type of dimension is shown in the image below? So um, it gives you a circle and then it gives you dimension. So this one is kind of a trick question, I think, because what the dimension that they're giving you is a diameter of the circle, but the type of dimension is not, it's not a diameter. It's not a radius. It's, it's going to be linear. If it was a, a diameter dimension, it would have a, uh, an arrowhead, a leader, it would point to the circle itself. So this one is going to be linear, even though it's it's giving you the uh, the diameter of the circle. I don't know if that's confusing or not. So um, linear. Next, got that one. Continue on to the last one. Which of the values in the image below must be changed so that the block is not distorted upon insertion? So, not just dis not distorted. So, I would say it's going to be which of the values, and it's going to be when you bring it in the scale, um, the insertion point Z value, the scale X value, explode must be selected. 
the rotation value angle. So I'm going to say the scale X value. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right. So we have completed this practice exam.